guys, what's up? It's Sunj. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school haul because the other day I went out and I bought a bunch of things and they may not all be like school related, but they help me cope and they're like therapy. So they help me like deal with school. So I'm calling it back to school haul because uh, even though school is in over a month, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do it right now. I'm trying to reach 700 subscribers and I would appreciate all of your help. And give this video a thumbs up if you hate school. Give it a thumbs up if you love school and are excited for all the back to school videos on YouTube. Like, I can't even lie, I don't like school, but I love all the videos that like are gonna start coming up on my subscription feed and stuff like that. All right, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I bought two pieces of clothing first. The first one is this really cute sweater. I can show it. And it's like white, oh, it's backwards. It's white on top and then it's like ombre into a salmon pink. And I thought it was just super cute and it's from Forever 21. I love wearing things like this on my school civvies day. I wear a uniform so I don't get to wear my actual clothes. But we have something once a month called civvies day where we can wear whatever clothes we want. And in like the October, November months, I like wearing knit sweaters. And I don't, I have like only a couple, like three or four. So I thought I would add to my collection because this is actually something that I do wear at school pretty often when I have the chance. The next thing I bought was what I'm wearing right now actually. I thought it'd be a really cute like bathing suit cover up. And it's just this like most adorable summer dress. And I, I just love it. It's like goes with crosses like that. And then it's just like a dress from the bottom. Then I bought some hair stuff. I bought this Pantene Overnight Miracle Repair Serum. And I bought this because um, whenever I wash my hair at home and I brush it out, usually like hours after it becomes pretty dry. And I thought if I could like put this in my hair and then like wrap it and then go to sleep, it would like lock all the moisture in. And not that my hair like needs repairing or anything, but like oils, I think it's oil, or like creams, like serums are really good for keeping moisture in my hair without like adding extra like buildups in my scalp. Then I bought a hairspray for dance because I dance and a lot of the times those like flyaways, like usually when I have dance performances, I straighten my hair and that's when I get flyaways. It's this Tresemme Superior Hold, Extra Hold, All Day Humidity Resistance Hairspray. It looks like this. This hairspray is le legit because I put it in my hair a couple, my mom put it in her hair actually yesterday and she said that it was like, her hair was like sticks. So when this holds, I mean it holds. This isn't the kind of hairspray that like you would spray as like a dry shampoo. Like you wouldn't just like, be like okay, I'm going, I'm going out and my hair is out like this. I'm gonna just spray it. Like that's not the kind of hairspray this is. This is the kind of hairspray where if you're doing a dance routine or if you need your hair to stay for multiple hours, you put it in because it will stay. The last non-makeup thing I bought, I guess, were these really cute earrings. I thought they were adorable. They have like pearls, well, obviously probably not real, but a pearl and like this ball right here. I'm like, this is the cutest pair of earrings ever. And they're like flexible, like they bend up and down like that. So it's not even like your ear is gonna be so stiff. And they were a pretty good price. I just thought it was so cute. All right, let's get into the makeup now, the best part. So I really have been wanting colored eyeliners lately for like the waterline because they really know how to brighten up your look and they can make a huge difference. So I bought these three from Annabelle and Annabelle is not a very known company but they have really good eyeliners. So first I bought this one and it's like this green color right here. It's in the color 71 green and I'll show you guys a little swatch. Look at how creamy and smooth that went on. Like, you see what I mean? It's such a good eyeliner. And it's not like super pointy and hard where it actually hurts to put it on. Like, I don't like ones like that. Then I bought this one right here and it's this really pretty teal color. It's in the color 171 Curaco. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is the swatch. It's a bit of a lighter, more subtle approach. I love putting blues in like gold or black like eye looks because it just makes the biggest difference ever and then lastly i bought this one and it's in this pretty purple color i'll do another swatch for you guys and look at those i mean if you have a simple makeup look and you just pop any one of these on your 
waterline or you tight line your eye with them, it can make the biggest difference. And using one like this teal, like lighter colors, really opens up your eyes and make them look bigger. And then using the darker colors will make your eyes look smaller. So, oh my gosh, through it. <laughs> Whatever approach you're trying to go for, there's an eyeliner color for all those things. And I have blacks and whites, so I really wanted to try some color. Next, I've been looking for like a really good primer that hits the spot. So I've got this Lancome La Base Pro Perfecting Makeup Primer Smoothing Effect Oil Free. My skin gets very oily. It's oily in summer or winter. So it's a little tube like that. Lancome sells everything in small tubes because they're like super expensive and they don't want to waste their product. It looks really nice and I'm a little confused though because on the front it says it's oil free and then on the back it says it's for all skin types. And usually, if you have dry skin, you want to use products that are more moisturizing and have oils, like good oils in them. And then if your skin is oily, you want to have products that, not they don't dry your skin out, but they don't, they actually have like products that can oppose to the oil. So I don't really know how an oil-free product would work on somebody that has really dry skin. So I'm confused about that part, but thank God I'm not the kind of person who has dry skin. Um, so I think that if you do have dry skin, this probably isn't the best product for you because I don't really, I don't even know how it work. Like you're supposed to kind of reinforce the oil back into your skin if you have dry skin, but this is oil free. Then I got this eyeshadow duo from Satcha. This is also a brand that's not as well known, but I've been lacking some blue eyeshadows. It's in the color Blue Ice. And I really want to do a look with this, like comment down below or give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see me do more looks with blue. I feel like I haven't really experimented with that. So this is how it looked. It's just one of those duo, like individual shadows. I actually really like these, not gonna lie. It's one of the screw off caps and the colors, oh my gosh, they're so nice. I was just thinking about, I bought like some other stuff and I was thinking about this with the other stuff that I bought and I was like, amazing like look at oh i should swatch these i'm gonna go into clean finger the light i mean the dark blue <gasps> i barely went into that oh my god it's more chalky than i expected but the pigment is so there and my finger is just messed up now now middle finger lighter blue I'm not gonna swatch it so many times like I made the mistake of doing. Just they're so pigmented. Like holy crap. I would say Sasha is more of an indie brand, but so much pigment. Crazy. I'm super excited to use that in some more tutorials and looks. You guys, I love blue eyeshadow and I recently got rid of mine. I don't know if you guys are gonna see my makeup collection video pretty soon or my eyeshadow palette collection. The only blue that I had, I ruined it <laughs> in that video. So you'll see that, that's gonna come pretty soon or you already saw it, I don't know which way I'm gonna upload the videos, but now I have a new one. Speaking of eyeshadow, I got a Club Monaco one and Club Monaco is also a really good brand. It's like not as known. Basically I went on an indie shopping spree and I got an eyeshadow color in color street. Like I live down the street, street. It's just a basic brown. Like nothing is really interesting about this, but I have a color like this in my MAC um, Maleficent Disney collection palette. It looks exactly like that and it, I use it all the time. Like I'm almost at pan. I use this look, this color, like this cool tone brown for transition shades. I use it, mix it with black for my brows. Like this is such a useful shade for me. I could probably even use this to contour because it's like the perfect color. Oh, I didn't even think about that. This could be like my next new contour shade and Oh my gosh, there's like blue in my palm. Oh my god. I'm just really excited about this because I haven't found a contour shade that I like love yet. I use that MAC one. So now I can have like one for one thing and like the other I can use it specifically for my eyeshadow or my brows. Like this is something that is interesting. I bought this LA Girl lip. I don't even know what this is because, okay, first it says right there in huge letters, matte. Then it says, Flat finish pigment gloss. So I was like, wait a minute, is how can a matte be a gloss? I was looking at this for a long time and 
the reason I bought this was because I was so confused and I'm like, I need to figure this out right now. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna test it out for a video. So even though this is not my color, as you can obviously tell, if it's a gloss, it might not look that bad on me because it's gonna be like kind of clear. But if this is a matte, it's gonna look so bad on me. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. Because it's, I, it still has like the tape and stuff on it. I don't want to open it yet because I want to open it for the video. But I'm so confused. Like a matte gloss. A matte pigment gloss. If you guys have ever seen this before, let me know. Like I was just looking at this in awe. It's in the color GLG836 Iconic. But I'm so excited to just find out what this is all about. And that video will be coming soon. Like... I need to figure this right out, but I thought, you know, I might as well put it in my haul because I had to buy this. The next thing that I bought is an eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. Now, when I first saw it, I thought it was a Stila palette because literally all of Stila's packaging looks like this. Now, I thought this was so, like, elegant and look at, like, it reminded me of a honeycomb almost, but it's not. It's, I don't know if I said this already, Elizabeth Grant. So it's a very expensive, very high-end sort of mature adult brand and oh my gosh i cannot like one thing that i don't like about these adult brands is that they have the most like luxurious colors and then they just put in a sponge applicator like you will see dior doing this like i have a dior palette and when i opened it i was like why is there a sponge applicator like literally the most sophisticated of brands will Hit you with this like there's so much space there you could have either put another row of eyeshadows or a full-size brush like if Anastasia can do it you can do it but aside from that these colors are super pretty as well I was especially leaning towards this purple and I'm not gonna need that anyways and this blue that has like blue reflecting I'm gonna swatch the blue I'm like obsessed with blue this video but Oh my gosh, I just ran my finger through it and there's like already a ton of fallout. It looks very pigmented on my finger though. Oh yeah, that is, that looks good. And I'm going to swatch the purple because those were the colors that I was like most excited about. And I haven't swatched them yet because I wanted to do it for the video. That's the purple. My whole hand is like a gradient, it's like purples and blues. Of course, names on the back. I think I just like learned how to actually know the names. I thought that it was always like what's there is like there but I realized that what's on the right is on the right like I just realized that right now and I've been reading my Colourpop palettes wrong this whole time and I've been saying to you guys it's this color but it's actually not <coughs> because some of the colors like okay black I obviously knew which one it was on the, sh on the palette and like plum is the purple and like highlighter and silver like they're pretty basic names so I like knew when I was like, wait a minute, this is not black. Like this gray here, no. So I'm excited about this. Let me show you guys the size. It's actually a pretty good size when compared to my face. Um, I love the packaging with the rhinestone steel except for the applicator. But if you guys want to see a look with this palette, let me know. I think I could do like a dark, like smoky eye with these colors. They're super, super nice colors. The next thing I bought was this NYX highlighter. You guys probably know, I'm not the kind of person I don't like um what's the word gravitate towards drugstore products or like lower end products because they find they disappoint me like all the time. But my cousin had a NYX highlighter, like it was gold and it was really really pretty on her skin and it was actually quite blinding. Like I was wearing my Fenty one and she was wearing her NYX one and it looked the same. And of course the price difference is probably huge. So I bought this, it's called a mosaic powder, I don't know what that means. But the colors in here are really pretty for dark skin, I think. It's got like a rose gold, a lighter champagne gold, and like a dark gold. And I feel like if you swirl all of these together and put it on, it would look really nice. Now, it's in the color Truth. The next thing that I bought is the last thing, and it's probably my favorite thing, because it's just so cute. You guys are not going to believe me when I show you this, but look at this. Well, look at this. Look how tiny it is. It's small. Okay, not very small, but it's small. A small, look, Aquafina. A small Aquafina water bottle. And I think there's like legit water in the bottom there. It's a lip balm. How 
cute is this, right? It even has like the cap. Does the cap come off? Okay, no. Okay. But you just take this part off like that, and the lip balm is in there. I was gonna go with this finger. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like it's kiwi. That's the flavor. Kiwi strawberry. It, oh, it smells so good. It smells like the kiwi and strawberry Kool-Aid mixed together. Like, it smells like the watermelon Jolly Rancher mixed with the green apple Jolly Rancher. Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it through the screen. But when I saw this, I'm like, no way, this is an actual water bottle. I thought it was the cutest thing I've ever laid eyes on, and I knew that I had to have it. So I bought it, because it's adorable. All right, guys, that is it for my haul. Um, uh, those things are gonna help me with back to school a lot. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I personally love watching hauls, so I hope you love watching this as well. And, you know, if you bought anything from back to school, let me know if you, like, buy makeup like a ritual, like me. It's like a treat myself kind of thing, like, you know? I'm going back to school, let me treat myself. So I got the, all these things. Let me know down below which thing is your favorite and if you are excited for school or not. I start in September. I don't know which day, I don't even care, but it's not really soon. So I'm not really worried about school too much yet, but people have been doing videos already because I know people in America start like end of July. Uh, wait, I mean end of August, <laughs> like beginning of August. So I'm like, you know, it's time to cater to everybody in the everybody in the world and just call this video back to school because you know honestly I'm gonna be using these things a lot from back to school. I'm gonna be blending my eyeshadow in class. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wear that highlighter every day though when I'm back to school so I'm not even lying. Anyways that's all for the video guys. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, if you like these swatches on my hand, if you like school, if you hate school, whichever just give it a big thumbs up and comment down below requests for future videos. Do not forget to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you receive a notification every time I post a new video. I am trying to reach 700 and I would love your help very, very much. That's it for the video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.